And let's talk now about an innovative math program that is boosting scores in local schools. It uses computer games and an animated character, a combination that may be an answer to what some call a math crisis in America's schools. ABC 7's education reporter Leanne Melendez tonight with this Focus on Solutions report. Just three years ago, Anderson Elementary in San Jose was the lowest performing school in Santa Clara County. To put it in perspective, there are about 250 elementary schools in that county. And Anderson was at the bottom. The students were so low academically. We remember walking into a fifth grade classroom and sitting there teaching fifth graders the long A sound. And only 19% of the kids were proficient in math. Destiny Ortega and Karen Allard were hired to make drastic changes. Then came what is arguably the most popular math teacher the school has ever had, an animated penguin named Gigi. We're at 72% proficient in math right now. In September, Anderson had the greatest API gain in the entire county, 136 points. The API measures a school's proficiency in math and English. Their API test scores went from 674 to 810. California's Department of Education wants every school in the state to reach 800. For these kids, Gigi is a computer game they love. A lot. But in fact, the Penguin teaches them about fractions through animated diagrams on the computer, not by using numbers. A half circle plus another half circle put together equals a whole. What our research says is that all the students can engage immediately with the visuals, and so and then they can get uh, quick success in learning math. While Gigi makes math easier to comprehend, students at Anderson still had to learn the mathematical concepts in English. It's difficult for students to understand, understand mathematical concepts when there's a language issue. Most are English learners, so the school implemented a math board program where the kids learn the language by repeating over and over again what the teacher says and by using props and visuals. Start with five. Next, I know comes ten, fifteen, twenty, and it goes on and on counting by fives. Count my nickels with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Gigi is owned by Mind Research Institute in Santa Ana. Several University of California scientists came up with a software program with animated diagrams. I'm trying to figure out where the key is, where he dug it, but he doesn't, like, tell us where it is. So the student must figure out how many rotations and steps it will take to place Gigi in the space where the key to the treasure lies. By doing so, she's thinking multiple steps ahead, like in chess. I think in being able in your mind's eye to kind of rotate it around, think about how this is going to fit next to that, all of that kind of reasoning skill, that's something these kids are going to be excellent at in the future. A great skill to have when studying engineering and physics. The teacher also learns who's getting it and who's not. The teacher gets a printout report after they go into the computer lab of how the students are progressing. The program, or GG if you will, has been such a huge success here and at two other schools in the area that this year 24 Silicon Valley schools have started using it. The ultimate goal is to produce a solid workforce for Silicon Valley companies. As you know, the, they've had to go outside the country to get some of the people that they have in their businesses today. You don't want that. We don't want that. <laughs> we have the people here, we have the youngsters here who are ready to take those jobs and we'll make sure that we get them prepared. In San Jose, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.